this is the first time using Urban BCN for a ride to the airport. It's like an hour from Baton Rouge to New Orleans, and uh, this is very nice. This is uh, this is better than having to drive myself, deal with parking, all those type of things. Plus, I don't have to pay 12 bucks a day to leave my car there. Big benefit to this is Ashley's coming to New Orleans for when I return, and we don't want to have both vehicles there. But this is great. I can. I could get spoiled by this pretty quick. And a quick 100% biased car review. Chevy Malibu, full size vehicle. This thing fucking sucks. Can't see shit out of any of the mirrors. Brakes are too sensitive. Steering wheel fucking sucks. Accelerator sucks. I'm also very hungry. So this could drastically change in a couple hours. Don't fucking add wood paneling to your car to try to church it up if it's gonna be a bag of shit. Fuddruckers. Hopefully meet some friends, get some food, and then crash. Alright. Quick dinner. Got to hang out with that cone. Matt winning, talk a lot of stuff. long day that dinner made up for it you know again one of those situations to not break the camera out but got to talk old powerlifting bullshit with Mount Winning and Ed Cohn and sit around the table and hang out good way to cap off the day <sighs> I like these people it's always good people here and that's one of the reasons I keep coming back that's one of the reasons I keep coming back for, for, for Burdick's Meats, for, for the stuff Burdick put on. Burdick runs an amazing, amazing meat. But the people are so fucking good. Like Chrissy's here, Kelly's here, Matt Winning's here, Ed's here, Jesse's here. Not to mention the regular people that are around CSA. These are always awesome people. I have a bunch of my athletes that are going to be here. Always great people to hang out with. On that note... 10 15, it's like midnight at home. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Spread hate. Always party. I'm gonna meet Ed and Keegan for breakfast. And then we're gonna go to the gym. Do some deadlifts. We'll let Ed learn me up on a deadlift. I mean, if you're gonna. Try to improve your deadlift. Seems like you gotta do it, right? Seems smart to me. Let's also see what Ed would recommend for fuel. Deadlift fuel. Why'd you copy uh, me? This is a good order. This is a really good order. Steak all the way around. Proper deadlift fuel.
It was perfect. <laughs> You're done. We're tired. 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 No more. I'm done. If you can't be per perfect at 45% of your max, you're never going to be perfect. Hey, even at your worst, you're perfect. It's pretty good. It's true. I have a shitty knee, and you just ran up and well, fucking. Well, you were fine. That's true. I've been swarmed by Asians. You're we, welcome. We, 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 that's you're how we welcome. roll. We swarm you. <laughs> Ninja. Get you way down there. My best day of filming. I uh, <laughs> didn't get a whole, whole ton of stuff done. Um, but I got the deadlifts in. I ran out of camera buddies. It did a shit job packing for the trip. Put them back home now. And uh, there's two days together, right? So, success. Got to deadlift with Ed, hang out with Ed a lot. Ed Cone is amazing, for those who don't know. And uh, it was a really, really good trip. So now, get a little bit of work done before I leave again head to uh, Denver and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another vlog with uh, some shots from the meat. Cheers. Oh, and spread hate always party. <laughs>